This hack tip is brought to you by Hack5 and viewers like you. Support us directly at hackshop.com. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I'm Shannon Morris, and today we are going over even more Nmap discovery options. Since there are so many discovery options that we could cover, I decided to split them into two episodes, last week's and this week's. So last week we covered about 10 options that you can add to your command to make sure you receive information from your specific target, even if ICMP is blocked. This week, we're going to cover the basics of the rest of them. So first off, we have this one called TACPO, which basically stands for IP Protocol Ping. This will send packets with a specific protocol to your target machine. Now your syntax would look something like this. You'll type in sudo because you do have to be root, and then nmap TACPO, and the, both of those are capital, 10.73.31.145, and that just happens to be my target. Press enter and it will ask for your password if you're not already root, and it'll give you back the same kind of information that you've seen in the past with most nmap commands that we've shown so far. If you wanna add a certain protocol to your command, you would also add something like this. So it'd be sudo nmap po, and then at the end of that specific syntax, you would put one, two, four, or whatever your different protocols would be, and then press enter. And you'll get a similar output. The defaults, if you don't specify anything, are protocol one for ICMP, protocol two for IGMP, and protocol four for IP in IP. So you don't actually have to type those. Luckily, there is a handy list of protocols online for you to use, and I will put all of those in my show notes. Now next we have an ARP ping, which can be used by adding TACPR. So that one in this case would look like this. Type in sudo nmap, TACPR, and both of those are capitalized, 10.73.31.145, or whatever your target ends up being. And you'll get a similar outcome again. So this is implied whenever you scan a local network. It's very fast, very accurate, because LAN hosts cannot block ARP requests. You can't use this if your target isn't on your local subnet, so keep that in mind. Now another one we have touched on a little bit is Traceroute. This will trace the network path to a specific host. It's kind of cool because when you run it, you end up with a map of all the locations that your target goes through to get to you. So to do this, again, you're going to use sudo. So you'll type in sudo and map, and then two dashes, trace route, and whoever your target is. So I'm gonna try, let's see, I'm gonna ping our forums to see what those are. 50.28.75.103. And hit enter. Oh my goodness, that took a long time. Okay, so that took a little while longer, but you'll notice that a list of hops show up and addresses for each one. It is kind of cool to check out how your target is able to get from one point to another. If I scroll through here, you'll see, scroll up a little bit. So you see the usual output that you see on pretty much every single Nmap output. And then down here, you see the trace route using port 53 TCP hop, the route, how long it took to get there, and the address. So you can see how many hops it took. And this one takes quite a few to get where we are. Huh, that's kind of cool. Now, we're going to take a quick break, but we will be right back with more discovery options in just a moment. The Hack Shop is Hack5's premier store for all of your pen testing needs, including one of my favorites, the USB rubber ducky, which looks like a flash drive, but it types like a keyboard and it can type scripts into a computer ridiculously quickly, like this week's pick from Lavanoid in the forums. So this script that he shows off will quickly back up passwords, product keys, directory listings, and tons and tons more. It's very cool and actually really fast. Now we couldn't do this show without your support, so we would like to thank you with something special. You the coupon code snubs with any order in the hack shop for your very own hack tip stickers and again thank you so much for supporting the show we're back with more options for nmap now next we are going to try out a forced reverse dns resolution with the tac r option so for this example i would type in of course nmap and then tac r and it's capital r of course 
10.73.31.145. And I'm gonna add pseudo on it just in case. Pseudo. Okay. So this one is the reverse resolution. This output will look similar to the default output and is useful if you're trying to resolve the reverse DNS info on every IP address for a subnet on a block of IP addresses. So a reverse DNS can still reveal info through Nmap even if the target is offline or blocking Nmap's regular probes. On the other hand, if you want to disable reverse DNS lookups, you can do so with the TAC-N option. So very similar, just add TAC-N. If you find using reverse DNS is slow, this will speed it up. There is also an alternative DNS lookup method that you can use as well. So this one looks like this, Nmap. I'll put sudo just in case. Two dashes, type system, dash DNS, and then whoever your target is. Type enter, and it will finish up. This uses the host system DNS resolver instead of Nmap's own method. It's much slower than the other reverse DNS lookup method, but it can still be useful for troubleshooting. If you want to manually specify DNS servers, you can also do the following. You can type in Nmap, very similar to that one. And then at the end of this part, DNS servers, you would type in whatever the servers are that you want to specify for this example. So I could type in something like, let's do 67.222.222. Then we'll do 208.84.5. I don't know if this is gonna work. And then your target. So this is going to bypass the default DNS servers that are configured in your local system. Now, last but not least is creating a host list. This is going to identify the IP addresses and DNS names of targets without sending any packets to them. So to do so, and this one actually uses a lowercase letter instead of an uppercase, surprise, you type in nmap, I'll do sudo nmap, tech s capital L, 10.73.31.1, so I'm gonna scan my whole network and then hit enter. So normally what this is going to do is list out its name and IP address of each of the targets in a very simple list without all the extra information that Nmap usually passes to you as an output. So you'll notice on my machine that mine doesn't, it just gives me the IP address of each of the different targets in a list, but it doesn't give me an, a DNS record, a DNS name for each one. So for some reason, I keep on having this issue. I haven't figured it out yet, but it's unable to open this resolve.conf file. So maybe you guys can help me understand why this keeps on happening. Maybe it's specifically my Linux machine. I don't know, we'll see. So what would you like to see next on my Nmap tutorials? I have lots of fun with these and I wanna continue them for a little while now. You can always send me a comment below or you can email us over at tips at hack5.org. Be sure to check out our sister show, Hack5, for more great stuff just like this. I'll be there reminding you to trust your technolist.